Hey kids, as you know, I am one of the producers on your movie, Good Boys, and unfortunately I'm here with bad news. You guys cannot watch the trailer for your own movie. What? Are you Come serious? On. Are you kidding? It's just too messed up for kids your age. There's drugs, there's violence, there's swearing, and although we've decided it's okay for you to do these things in the movie, you can't watch yourselves do them in the trailer. I feel like right now, especially, we're sort of in this coming of age renaissance. And it's not even with high school movies, it's with middle school movies. Sixth, seventh, eighth grade are sort of getting the kinds of movies that when I was growing up, you know, were, were for high schoolers. And, you know, why is that? Do you feel like it's because middle school hasn't been mined as much in the genre? Or do you feel like kids are, you know, they're younger and they're sort of, uh, they're getting adult sensibilities at a younger age? Why do you think all of a sudden we're seeing this bloom of middle school movies? I mean, I think it's the first thing, and it hasn't really been mined. Um, and also, it is such an awkward time. I have to tell these guys. You do not want to go to Soren's party not knowing how to kiss. We could spy on my neighbor. She's a total nymphomaniac. And awkwardness lends itself really well to comedy. And so, and kids are growing up faster. So I think for all those reasons, uh, there's been a renaissance. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I can stay with you guys for a second. Uh, sixth grade, you're not in sixth grade. So uh, is it hard to write for sixth grade? What do you have to do? Are you going into schools? Are you sort of sitting down with sixth graders? Like just writing for those sensibilities has got to be difficult as you get old. We're not, I mean, our sensibilities aren't that much different <laughs> from a <laughs> typical sixth grader. So it wasn't that, we could tap into that pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, I want to come to you. Um, and I say this with adoration for you. You've been, you know, America's sweetheart, I think, uh, you know, for, for, uh, for a minute. Uh, what's it like for you to kind of get into a bit of a raunchy, dangerous movie? I feel like after this movie, people are going to look, look at Jacob Tremblay quite the same way again. You took my bag. Don't get any closer. Oh, my God. There's Molly in there. Okay. Who's Molly? Because she's not with us. Jesus Christ. I've done a lot of dramas. Mm -hmm. I've never done a comedy before, so... I was really excited to do a comedy. I um, I thought it'd be a fun new experience, and I hope people like it. It's a really, really fun and funny movie. A lot of swearing, yeah, a lot of things fun. that kids probably shouldn't be doing around this age, yeah. but it's it's really fun. It's also heartwarming, too. So, Brady, speaking of the swearing, you know, in the trailer, a lot of people watch it. Uh, your mouth is on fire. <laughs> you know, what's it like? You know... <laughs> Is that fun for you? But you know what's interesting about cursing in a movie? There's just saying cursing, but there's the delivery of cursing. You know, and I think if, you know, if you're you want to deliver it a certain way in order to get maximize that laugh. And so do you think about that? Or are you just like, you know, do you think about the way you're delivering the cursing? I, I just say it what's funniest <laughs> in my mind and it comes out good. Um, so that's what I've been just thinking to. But we, uh, we had a rule, like, what's set on set stays on set, so it was, like, a good... We were fine transitioning from all the swearing on the movie to, like, our, our own personalities. Lion, kick a lion in this crap. Here's the plan. I'm gonna go to the party with a beer so everyone knows that I'm cool. What do you have in your pants? So when you guys leave the set and you're going home for the day, you know, do you ever find yourself at dinner just dropping F-bombs and you're like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, like, I had, like... Care. My bad, I, I my 15 f-bombs today that yeah. i dropped and i'm just i'm sorry like is it is that hard to kind no, of transition well i think i think i can say this for all of us our our parents kind of kept us in like made sure um that we didn't curse at home um i would always get in trouble i don't know about these guys i'm sure they would because well, my older brother yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's 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 talk if you could yeah, pass keith um you know, the trailer opens up. I'm going to talk about the trailer. The trailer opens up. You guys are just kind of playing with sex toys, and it's crazy. Like, how much of this stuff is explained to you on set? Or they just put something in front of you and say, just do something with this, and we're not going to tell you anything else? Or We are all just, like, basically being, like, mature about it. Like, you don't ask questions on set. You, like... Ask your parents later or look it up later, you know, it's look like, it yeah, look it up later. <laughs> yeah. Is, and and it, like how accurate sort of, I, you know, to sort of your own lives and, and sixth grade is this? How authentic do you feel this movie is well, to sort of what you guys are experiencing right now in your lives? It's actually every middle school kid and every kid that I know is like my character, Brady's character, Jacob's character. A lot of middle school kids these days act like, good boys <laughs> or good girls whatever and do you i like are you guys big sort of uh you know fans of like super bad and and the kind of films like you know that, well, that i wouldn't say big fans but we we me and brady when we saw it, we liked the movie 
and we see so, yeah <laughs> we liked the movie you would have loved it it was really funny we were uh, we were so eager to work, work work with seth and we were just like begging our parents we were like please 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 so me and keith had to sleep over on uh the second to last night so we watched super bad together and we had a good time it was a lot of fun Gene and Lee, did you, did you show these guys anything? Did you want them to see sort of movies in the genre before, um, before shooting the movie? I think. Did we have you guys watch Stand by Me? I, or have I, you guys seen I, it already? There were a few. There were a few movies that were kind of like inspirations for us, or kind of touchstones um, that we talked about with the guys. Yeah. Do you guys have a personal favorite sort of kind of movie? Yeah. Do you have a personal favorite comedy? I do. I like The Office. I'm yeah. like the biggest <laughs> Office fan. And it was so cool because I was in the plane. I looked next to me and I see Zach Wood, who's also in The Office. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I was on the inside scene. I was like, Mom, switch with me, switch with me. So we switched seats. So I was next to him. And then I got to talk to him. And it was, it was really cool. I got a picture of him and stuff. So. And so as we wrap up, you know, is, what's like one thing that you want audiences to know about this movie? Like if you're kind of speaking directly to them and say, you got to go see this movie because. I would say you have to go see this movie because it's not just a like rated R comedy. There's like some like I guess like uh, inspiration to it, too. Yeah. Like basically, I think. I'm the inspiration. I'm the one that's always like pushing people and stuff. Like yeah. you gotta go get your girl, man, or whatever. <laughs> so I would say that it's not just like a rated R. It's world. heartwarming. It's yeah, it's, basically. It's, it's like what Jacob said. It's it's not just a comedy. It, it really touches your heart when you see it. Like, yeah, it's not just like kids cussing. <laughs> that's not what it is. It's it's also a, an actual movie, not just uh, kids cursing. And you feel like middle schoolers should go see it. Convince your parents. Uh, tell, uh, tell, tell, <laughs> tell kids how to go see this film. <laughs> uh, Convince your parents. Uh, <laughs> um, we probably shouldn't be um, doing watching it. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty crazy. Movie. Yeah. If, if your crazy parents stuff. don't approve, I wouldn't try. And yeah. <laughs> you, might, you might learn a new, yeah, a few new things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that if you go home and said. Like, if I'm being honest, I think adults enjoy. will probably even be learning new things. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I have an idea. Oh. Yeah. How many husbands does she have? Get out of there, girl. <laughs> Nobody even kissed. Well, not on their mouths, at least. And on that note, Good Boys is the movie. Comes out in August. Kids and parents will learn some new things. Yes, 100%. <laughs>